Hey there, people. I'm posting this video because it's something that I think you all should know, okay? I like to take things apart, but I'm not going to go into that. As you know, if you have a Bearcat 436HP or I think it's a 125AT or a 75XLT, the speakers are pretty much lousy. They're about the size of a 50 cent piece. They're not very good quality. And of course, they're made to burn out quite often. That's why they're so simple to replace. Well, I was taking apart a uh, Nextel 158SR one day just to play around. And guess what? The speaker is very similar and it fits in this radio and it's extremely loud. So rather than buying replacement parts continuously from Uniden or whoever sells them, you go on uh, eBay or wherever you'd like to look and find yourself a used phone for about 15 bucks. Problem solved, and it's made by Motorola, so the speaker's probably going to last you a lifetime. All right, I'm going to pause this video. I'll come back showing you the, you know, the similar similarities, okay? By the way, I was going to show you the, the squelch level. This is full blast right now. This is 15, level 15. Okay, for what it's worth, and I'll show you it's on level 15. Okay, volume's at 15. All right, so I'm going to show you a video. Uh, I'm going to continue this video. I'll show you what the radio is taken apart, the similarities of the uh, speaker, and when it's all complete, I'll show you the difference in the sound. Okay, and here's the inside of the uh, the unit in 436HP. So you can just pinch these two things together right here. Push down and pinch them together. That'll come out. You remove the speaker, okay? And take note of the picture of the, the speaker. The one in the next tail is a little bit thicker, but it doesn't make a difference, okay? And I'll get back to the video in a second. Okay, actually, I made a mistake. You're not going to pinch in on those things. You're going to actually push down, push down and push apart both sides. And then once you do that, this will just come off. You don't have to take it all the way off. Okay, then the speaker's exposed, just pulls right out, okay? That is an actual speaker that I replaced probably about a month ago. And uh, I wish I would have known about the Nextel trick. All right, so let me get the Nextel taken apart. Um, hopefully you already know how to take the scanner apart. It's not too hard. There's four screws on the back of the unit and then you remove the batteries and there's two more screws. Very simple. Try not to get any lint or touch the inside of the screen because you'll be disappointed when you put it back together. Okay, on the back of the Nextel, there's two screws on the bottom, two in the center, and up on top here, you have to remove the Nextel sticker. You're not going to need it anymore. And then, so there's a total of four, and I think it's a, a T8. Torx T8 is what you need. Okay, and here's the Nextel all taken apart. You can discard the rest of the phone. There's the speaker. It'll be a little tricky to get it out because they use some type of a sealant, I guess, because it's waterproof around the edges, like a, like a rubber gasket. But just be careful not to damage the speaker. You know, work it out with a little screwdriver. And uh, I'll show you how to get it into the other unit. Okay, now here are the speakers side by side. This here is the original unit in. This here is the one that was in the Nextel. You can see the tabs. They look a little spread apart further on the unit in versus the Nextel, but... If you put it in there properly, you line it up, you're not going to have a problem, okay? And for me to take this speaker out so that I didn't damage the speaker, rather than trying to work it out with a screwdriver, I just bent the uh, the Nextel phone. It's all plastic. You know, you just bend it and pop it out. That's the best way so that you don't damage the speaker. All right. Okay, I'm going to put it in there and put it together, and we'll see how loud it is. Okay, here we are. So I got it all in there. And um, it's pretty loud. I haven't put the screws back in the back of it yet because uh, I want to finish this video. So that's the volume. It's on 15. I'm not hearing any beep. Let's see what happened here. I just tested it. It's much louder. So. The only thing I can tell you before you put the screws in the back, put it back together, be sure it's going to work because a little bit of a, an alignment may be necessary to get the, the speaker properly lined up. But once it's lined up, it's not going to move on its own. You see how it's connected inside the radio. There's a spring clip holding it in place, so it will not move. 
So in my situation, since I just noticed I had to tap it a little bit, it might be because I haven't screwed it together yet. That's probably why. But um, yeah, it's much louder. It's cheaper. It's going to save you money. And uh, before I made this video, I made sure I ordered as many S S50 or uh, I58 SRs as I can find because uh, let my secret out. I'm sure a lot of people are going to start buying those radios. And you know, there may be other Nextels that have the same size speaker. I do not know. I haven't attempted any other Nextels. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I don't really care about subscriptions because I don't I don't make a lot of videos. But if you want to hit that like button, that would be appreciated. Okay. Good luck.